So what we want to do is to start generalizing the concepts of the equation of a circle. And here's a question. Describe the transformation that would map x squared plus y squared equals 9 onto x minus 3 squared plus y plus 7 squared equals 9. OK? So what has happened here? What has changed? Because equals 9 is the same in both cases, so the right-hand side of the equation hasn't changed. But we now have the x has been replaced with x minus 3, and the y has been replaced with y plus 7. OK, so there is this key, these key differences. Now, if you replace the x with x minus 3 and you replace the y with y plus 7, this is a translation. OK, so this is a translation by a particular vector. So by the vector, in this case, because we've replaced x with x minus 3, that means that we've gone 3 in the x direction, so positive 3 in the x direction, and we've gone negative 7 in the y direction. So previously, because we know from the previous video that this is a circle centred at the origin with radius of 3, we now have a circle that is centred at 3 minus 7 with radius 3. OK? So we now have a circle. So here's a circle. Here is its centre, 3 minus 7. And it has a radius of length 3. That is what we're saying here. This is what this circle would look like. So if we wanted to generalise this, so in general then, the circle with equation x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared has centre a, B, so these elements here identify the centre of the circle and radius of length R. So the R squared in this case is 9, and so R must be 3. So this is how we can now identify the equation of a circle. And we've generalised it, so it doesn't matter where the centre is, where it's positioned, or how large it is is the size of its radius, okay? So we're going to see another example of this in the next video.